Hello and welcome to BBC World News. We start with one of our main stories this hour, the focus on Israel, where the Air Force had continued those strikes against Gaza, while Palestinian militants have fired more rockets into Israel. It's an escalating situation sparked by days of unrest in Jerusalem. We have heard from the UN expressing their deep concern. But how is the situation there being viewed across the region? Well, let's join now Hashem Shawish, who is from BBC Monitoring's Middle East desk, who has been looking into this for us. Very good to see you. What has the response been in neighbouring countries and across the region? Are, are we seeing protests? Hi, Lucy. Yeah. So there have been protests across the Middle East and North Africa since the storming of the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound last week and the violent confrontations um, which followed. And this is all during the holy month of Ramadan when worshippers were praying inside. So the reaction has been very strong. Um, and tensions have been mounting since the start of, of Ramadan. So there was a build-up. Uh, we've observed protests um, in Turkey, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, um, and even in Israeli cities such as Nazareth, Lod, and Haifa, where, um, which have large numbers of Israeli Arabs. In Jordan, protesters there have called for the expulsion of the Israeli ambassador. And um, it's important to remember Jordan is a country where the overall majority of, Palis of um, the population is of Palestinian descent. So they're expecting a strong response from the king. And this comes, you know, especially in light of the fact that the kingdom is custodian of Jerusalem's Muslim and Christian holy, holy sites. Um, we've also seen lots of protests online um, and calls for pressure to be placed on Israel. There's been a huge amount of activity from observers on the ground in Jerusalem and around the world. Um, the Israeli left also, who have been very vocal, um, but we've also seen um, claims from around the world that social media platforms are blocking and unblocking hashtags and live videos on this story. What about other media, Hesham? How are the papers reporting the story? Yeah, um, so we've seen a lot of strong reaction in the press this morning um, in Saudi Arabia's Ashraq al Ossat newspaper. It's a pan Arab newspaper. Um, they ran with a headline, uh, Rocket Escalation, Jerusalem at Boiling Point. This comes as the uh, Saudi Foreign Ministry issued a strongly worded warning this morning calling for the international community to hold Israel accountable for acts of escalation in Jerusalem. Then uh, we have Lebanon's Nida al Watan newspaper. It's a private newspaper. Um, they ran with the headline, Jerusalemites resist Israeli onslaught, lethal airstrikes rain down on the Gaza Strip. Lebanon is, of course, watching events very closely south of the border, um, especially since Israel is currently conducting military drills. Hezbollah's lead and Hassan Nasrallah has issued a warning um, to Israel against making any mistakes and has put his forces on high alert. And then we have Turkey's pro-government Milayet newspaper, which uh, reads barbarism um, and follows with Israel is increasing its dose of violence. And this follows harsh official statements and press coverage there, uh, with Erdogan labelling Israel a terrorist state earlier this week. Um, and then we have, uh, lastly, Iran's hardline Javan newspaper, uh, which ran with the headline, A State of War in Jerusalem and response to crimes in Jerusalem with the launch of 40 missiles towards Israeli towns. Hesha, are any papers reflecting on the fact that this could potentially be embarrassing for some countries in the Middle East, Arab countries that have been signing deals with Israel recently? That's right. I mean, the, there has been a lot of reaction. There's been uh, condemnations and calls for calm um, from regional actors, and this has been reflected in the, the region's media. Um, there's also been criticism of the time that it's taken for some countries to issue statements, um, especially from countries such as the UAE, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, and these are all countries that have been um, enjoying a, a warming of relations with Israel um, lately. Um, the UAE's recently appointed ambassador to, um, to Israel has also come in for heavy criticism for his social media posts over the last week and his lack of response. And um, Jordan, which has had relations with Israel for decades, um, has said that uh, Jerusalem is a red line and has urged the US to play a leadership role in reducing the violence. So we're seeing a shift in positions lately. Hashem, thanks so much for joining us with all of that, just looking at reaction from across the region for us.